So I um, had my 37 week appointment today. I'm 37 weeks today and my doctor basically told me that this baby can come any day now. So I'm basically just um, waiting at this point. I'm still managing my gestational diabetes and stuff. I'm about to make more of that um, chili I talked about in my last vlog, the beanless um, chili. It was really good. So I'm gonna make that. And then um, I've also been craving pumpkin stuff. I went to the grocery store and I went to like the bakery. They had like pumpkin, donuts dusted in like sugar they had pumpkin cupcakes pumpkin spice like bread um pumpkin pie all the it's just my favorite time of the year and i love all like pumpkin stuff so um yeah i had to figure out a um or find a keto friendly like pumpkin cheesecake bar recipe so I got that. I got all the stuff I need to make it. So I'm going to make that with the chili because I need some comfort food, y'all. Like, I feel like I've been eating like a bird these last couple days. And then Eric and I toured the hospital. It was pretty nice. It was good to see, you know, like where we're going to be going, um, you know, the rooms that I'm going to be giving birth in and everything. Um, I think for him, it just made it like more real, you know, like I keep telling him you need to pack your hospital bag because he's um, really busy at work right now. They have like a huge conference coming up that, you know, he's all preparing for. So um, it's a busy time for him. But um, yeah, we we're all ready for him. Like it's just it's it's just a waiting game at this point. We have everything we need. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. Nervous but excited. I'm just excited to meet him and see his little face and, you know, hold his little hand and <laughs> sniff his little feet. <laughs> Let me go and cook myself some food because all I had today was those little egg bites from Starbucks. And mama is starving. I think it's officially like no longer watermelon season because Eric bought a watermelon the other day. It was not sweet. And then I bought one today and it wasn't really green. It was kind of like pale, but it had a big yellow patch on it, which I've heard is how you know whether or not um, it's like sweet. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think we're ending the summer just by based off of the watermelons. But look how big this green pepper is. Like this is crazy big. Half the battle of cooking is just preparing all the freaking vegetables and stuff. <sighs> it's all done now so I'm gonna just let it sit add a little bit of sour cream and some shredded cheese and we're good to go it's time to eat I just went in <laughs> I swear like this low carb diet it's not the business. So to be able to, to be able to eat something like filling like that, it just feels so good. It's so comforting to my soul. <laughs> um, this is what I'm drinking right now. It's the bubbly sparkling water. This is the coconut pineapple one. I'm just, I gotta have it super like ice cold or else it's just gross. Um, but yeah, usually I just been drinking water but I need a little bit of flavor. I tried like the um, zero sugar ginger ale because I love ginger ale. I tried the zero sugar is so 
like the taste is very similar to regular ginger ale you can taste like the artificial flavor but i don't like how i feel after i um drink it like sometimes i get a little like dizzy and i'll like feel like i'm floating i don't know the other thing that makes me feel that way is that pumpkin spice creamer that i bought the um international delight or but yeah i can't I can't do that. So it's back to drinking these little um, carbonated waters or sparkling waters. They're okay, they get the job done. You just, like I said, you just gotta drink them ice cold. Like that's the only way. But this chili y'all, I know it don't look like much, <laughs> but it is so good. It would be nice to have some beans in there, but beans shoot numbers up to cheddar cheese and the sour cream just like, it's like the icing on the cake. So I need to get my butt up. I should have just kept cooking and went straight into my cheesecake bars, my pumpkin cheesecake bars, so I could like enjoy that too. <laughs> but I needed to sit down, I needed to break. My feet are all swollen. So I'm gonna link this, this is from a book in the description box below. So y'all can check that out if you wanna make it for yourself. Okay, so I just checked my blood sugar after eating that chili and it's at 99, so not bad at all y'all super super low i need it to be under 130 as a reminder <laughs> okay so i'm starting with the crust i have my almond flour one and one fourth cup two tablespoons of the monk fruit brown sugar half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice the melted butter all of this together I'm supposed to do this in an 8x8 eight eight pan. I have like an 8 by I think 10. <laughs> it's just going to have to work out. I'm going to see if I can keep it contained on this part of the pan. Just to make a little 8x8. Eight eight. <laughs> While the crust is cooling, prepare the layers. Okay. Okay, so I got my cream cheese, I got two eggs, and then it's saying to add my confectioner's monk fruit sugar, which is this. Okay, that's about half a cup, maybe a little more. And one tablespoon of vanilla extract. My tablespoons are all used up, but I know that three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. So one, two, three. Okay. So our crust is cool. Oh, look at that. It looks good. Look at me baking. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. Y'all have no idea how much I've been craving a dessert. So the pumpkin layer is one third cup of pumpkin, which I have my pan here and a teaspoon of pumpkin spice adding the teaspoon of pumpkin spice let's go ahead and add in the pumpkin okay here's what we're working with it's looking like something i'm a little worried about this side when it bakes but hey we gonna make it work This the last layer because this might not fit. So we got the two tablespoons of butter. Okay, that's about half a cup. Let's add that. One tablespoon of brown sugar monk fruit. So that's this is what I'm using for the brown sugar monk fruit, whatever. Three. Okay. And one tablespoon of cinnamon. Three teaspoons to make a tablespoon. That butter is solid on the top. She just spinning around like a little donut hole. Look, oh Lord, this lady then did not tell me to melt the butter. Now I got a whole little ball of butter right here. I melted that. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but not with it just being a solid little ball like that. We just gonna move this around with a butter knife. Right. 
I bought two cans of this pumpkin. I'm going to give the rest to Denzel. Dogs eat pumpkin, don't they? It could be his little dessert. Ugh. Oh. Why did I do that? Ew. Ugh. Woo. Tastes like a black tea bag. Mmm. So what are we doing today, Beth? We're getting some bricks to lay down on the patio. Trying to make it nice so we can sit out there, especially when the baby comes. So let's go. Chilling on the owner the vibe and that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like you. Check, check, yeah. And I got it, man. Fine, you a bad thing, made me wanna commit. See, I'm loving the way you be trying to play out the get. I tried to slide in your lane, you was not with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the vibe ain't it. See, now me, I like to dance, cause my soul feel it. See, you're trying to shake something, really move your hips. Yeah, yeah. Real smooth with it, smooth with it. Ooh, no, you're wrong when you say you don't want to dance. That's not like you. Said to me nice that you only like jazz and blues. It's gotta be smooth for you, yeah, yeah. Ooh, all right, smooth for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. listen, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, bottles up and up so you can go. That's it, that's it. All I wanna see is that you move with it, with it. Lady, tell me what you trying to do. My good friend Tiffany, um, she sent me some a little package she had a baby boy um i want to say like six months ago six or seven months ago and so she was telling me she was going to send me um some of his clothes that he just you know doesn't fit anymore little outfits little pants <laughs> look at that look how cute <laughs> she sent me so much stuff a bunch of little onesies some jackets thank you so much tiff yes i need these these little sleepers zero to six months perfect oh look at this little hat <laughs> well that's cute it's a little breakfast onesie <laughs> oh it's one of those little teddy bear things i've been wanting one of these for him too it's like a little teddy bear swaddle. So much clothes. Thank you so much, girl. I appreciate it. These little slippers. Those are cute. Okay. Today, we've just been relaxing since we got back from Lowe's. Eric started on the patio and like um, evening out the, the ground or whatever and putting the bricks down. So it's looking good so far. But I need to finish getting my... Um, my hospital bag together. I think I'm going to go do that now. Just finish um, putting all of the stuff in one bag because it's just been sitting on my uh, bedroom floor for like the past couple days now. I was in the mood for some chicken alfredo. So I'm just sauteing my chicken breast and some onions right now. I have this chicken done already and resting. I'm going to slice them up um, and then for my noodles, I'm just doing the spaghetti squash because y'all know I can't have regular carb noodles right now. Um, and then the cheese I'm going to mix together is just, I went to Lytle. I got some shaved Parmesan cheese and this Italian blend. Um, so I'm going to mix that together. I also got, uh, my sister told me to put a little chicken broth in there. I haven't done that before. But I'm going to do that and put some flour. My sister got me a push present. She bought me a Stanley cup. <laughs> I got a package from Target today. And I was like, what is this package? I didn't order anything. So thank you, sister. This is the one that I've been using um, 
every day pretty much it's a hydra peak which hydra peak is a pretty good brand too it keeps my ice um pretty solid throughout the day um the blue one that's in my hospital bag that one is hydra peak too so that's the brand that i typically go for so i'm excited to try out my first stanley cup this is like the mint green color which it looks like a green gray kind of looks like a muted gray but yeah it's cute I got these just to have like a little quick breakfast. Um, don't mind my freezer, y'all, it's a mess. Um, yeah, I just kind of bought these on a whim because sometimes I struggle with what to eat for breakfast and it's 28 grams of carbs per um, sandwich, which is good. I think I have to be between like 30 and 40 grams. And then I, I want, I've been feeding for some ice cream. I really wanted an ice cream cone today, but I saw these in Lytle. They're little minis and three of them so serving size three bars is only 38 grams of carbs. I think for like my desserts and stuff, I have to cap it like around 15. So I'll probably eat only one. I don't know how big they are, but one or two should, I should be okay. So we'll see. And then I'm also drinking right now these um, little sparkling waters from Lytle 2 this brand Nixie. It's actually pretty good. Good. I got the strawberry hibiscus. I love hibiscus. Um, that's what it looks like. No sweeteners, nothing. It's just sparkling water. Organically flavored is what it says. So these taste good. This was um, $5.99. So yeah, so far pretty good. They had a bunch of other flavors too, but I said, let me start with this one and see how I like it. Just here. I got my onions in there. I'll go ahead and add my broccoli. have some heavy whipping cream from when I made I made some lemon um, blueberry cheesecake like a low carb one um, or sugar free but I thought I had more than this left and I don't anything I just have to add a little milk or water let me see how much I have that was not a lot at all I drink lactate, y'all. You know. Whenever I do get whole milk, I stick to coconut milk mainly, but when I do buy whole milk, I stick to lactate. Oh, oh no, that spilled everywhere. So I add a little milk, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the Parmesan. I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm probably gonna end up putting this whole thing. That cheese, and then this one. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not even. Adding in the chicken broth. And I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of flour. Just to help thicken it up. one's a little prettier <laughs> presentation wise but okay i don't have on the right bra for this trial <laughs> so don't 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 mind me i got this shirt this one was i think like two dollars it's got these crazy sleeves i don't know i figured i could probably take like some pregnancy pictures in this one or like pictures with the baby once he's here you know it's cute tuck this in these sleeves are like very angelic. <laughs> but and then it's got like the peplum butt in the back. So really cute. Not bad for two, three bucks. This little vintage bush gardens 
sure it's just got all the little animals on it i like it and then it's got some on the back too what is that a parrot i think it's a parrot <laughs> so yeah this one's a little bigger but sometimes i like wearing like looser baggier shirts this i think all, everything i got was like two dollars and then some stuff it was like fill up a brown bag for five dollars so i'll show y'all that this one is just a leopard long sleeve I don't, this might be maternity i'm not sure it's got the cinching on the side and then this is just an old navy um like a basic i always like to look for these because i like the just neutral colors this is a maternity shirt though but i can wear it post uh partum too good for fall this is a skirt it's just a long skirt that i got i don't know what i would actually like pair this with i gotta find something to kind of match with this but i figured it would be cute to like wear it high-waisted um with a cute little top nice little polka dot print animal print i don't know cookies and cream print then i did not go to mcdonald's this is just the bag they gave me so everything in this bag was five dollars it's a thrift store they don't really have their own bags so they use different types so all of this stuff i'm about to show y'all i got for five bucks I just got this plain basic t-shirt. It's kind of got like a crazy um, print on it. But I think this is Lululemon. Isn't this Lululemon? It doesn't have a tag, but it has that. So. Just a simple neutral t-shirt to throw on. It's very soft and stretchy. This one is a Shein shirt, but I might have to wait until my bump goes down a little bit to wear this one because it's a little snug. <laughs> but I thought it was a cute like work top. So it's kind of like short in the front and then gets a little longer in the back. And then you can button the sleeves once this kind of goes in <laughs> a little more it'll be a little looser and cuter i think so in a, a better bra where the girls are lifted and then this is just a basic t-shirt it's just a little graphic tee i don't even know it says give more life i guess it's a blood donation shirt just to throw on i liked the like little black paint specks in the like beige tone of it okay so that's what i got in the five dollar bag for clothes and i just got this little thing because i'm working on my little coffee bar upstairs in the master bedroom and i figured this would be cute to put like the um little sugar packets in or something so we'll see that and then i found some um curtains so let's see what they look like Oh, they're pretty cute and they're long I might put these in here so then I also got um, these little pieces of jewelry I found two watches they look like vintage watches but they're both Gucci so I found both of these they were 20 bucks a piece and the woman told me that the guy who had brought him in, he had just brought him in this morning because his wife had passed away. So he was trying to like, you know, sell off um, some of her stuff. But this is what they look like. Really pretty. And then here's the back. So they look real to me. I'm gonna have to like search them and see if anyone's been selling something similar online this one though it looks like it's missing a a crystal right there so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to replace that or what but i, I was gonna keep them for myself but i'm gonna check and see online how much i can sell them for um because i have a seiko watch that i've been looking for like crazy i can't find it anywhere but i just want to get back into wearing um watches I have my Apple Watch, but I'm kind of over wearing the Apple Watch. I just want to go back to wearing just regular um, 
regular watches. I can't get this one on. I'm going to need some help. But yeah, it's pretty cute. And then I found these little earrings for $3. These little guys. Super cute. I think they're reversible. So you can wear them either this way or this way. But this is cute. I need to clean these off with alcohol before I try them on, but I think those are going to look cute. Okay, um, and then I bought some stuff for the kitchen. They had a cutting board, a brand new cutting board for $4, a bamboo one still wrapped up in the plastic. I got one of these for my air fryer because I realized I just didn't have one. It's just a little scoop spoon to get stuff out. Got the air fryer. This little teapot that comes with a cup. So here's the cup. After you're steeping, you just pour into here. Because I um, want to start drinking some uh, raspberry leaf tea because I heard that it can help bring on labor. <laughs> so um i was like okay this isn't bad it was only 250 for this whole thing so cute little set i found these little things these were new too they're bamboo salad hands i'll take the tag off so y'all can see but they're just two little orc hands that you can use to like mix up toss the salad i got another um a bigger cup i have one of these already but i, I needed a bigger one and it's nice to have just more than one measuring cup when you're cooking. So I got this one. I think this was $2.50 as well. And then this little jar, this was $50 or a dollar, just for um, the creamer at my little coffee bar. Because I use a lot of powder creamer. So I can put some in there. I wanted everything to be kind of mini miniature um, so it doesn't take up too much space. Or to hold like the little stir sticks, stirring sticks I'm going to get. And then I just got this little container too to put something in here at the coffee bar. Sugar or something, creamer, one or the other, but that was a dollar. So that's it, it's all my little purchases. So it was a good little thrift store run today. Made a little late night hibiscus tea. So I didn't really get to go into um, detail yet but I had my um, 38 week appointment today um, even though tomorrow I'm, I'll be 39 weeks so anyway um, they my doctors are still like they're back to stressing like scheduling an induction and I just don't want to do that like I really don't want um, to be induced at this point because the whole reason they want to induce is because of the gestational diabetes and I'm like I don't know I've just I just would prefer to, for the birth to happen naturally versus being induced but um I'm still like doing my own research and you know gathering information and stuff but um I know like if push comes to shove, like I'm telling myself if he doesn't come out on his own by like my due date, then I'll feel comfortable, you know, having something scheduled. But they were saying, uh, my doctor was saying that if I don't schedule an induction, I run the risk of like having to have a C-section because if he's too big to push out, I could run into complications. So... At this point, I just really need to like figure out a um a date I want to schedule an induction for. I guess is like a you know just to have. Um, so right now I'm looking at days like one day after my due date to like six days after my due date. So yeah, I have to pick something um around that time. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just hoping that by so on Tuesday I have another. Um, appointment to get him scanned and like checked out they're gonna check out his weight so I'm hoping by Tuesday um, I'll have a better idea on like how big he is but even still like 
a lot of the women in like the groups that I'm in on Facebook, they say that they were told their baby was like seven and a half pounds or eight pounds. But then when the baby was actually born, the baby was like six pounds. So I know that that stuff can still be inaccurate. So I'm trying to really decide like what it is I want to do, you know, because I don't know. Like is a C-section better than an induction? What, you know, like if it comes down to those two, then what's what? But I'm also just hoping that he just comes naturally within the next um, week. You know, I still have a week until my due date. So we'll see y'all. It's getting closer, but it's not gonna lie. It's putting a little bit of like stress and anxiety on me, but I'm just trying to stay calm and just, you know, do what I gotta do. I heard also that curb walking, like walking on a curb, like up and down like this um, is good. Like one foot on the curb, one foot on the street. So I might go out tomorrow and do that and then just see like what exercises and stuff I can do to try and get him to come out naturally um yeah so I said I was gonna drink raspberry leaf tea but I, I wanted to try the hibiscus instead it's pretty good so that's it it's 11 40 now I'm just editing finishing up editing this vlog I'm trying to keep the content flowing so bear with me y'all but anyway um, I will check in with y'all in the morning. See you soon. Family outdoor adventure. We're just walking through the neighborhood. But he's on his bike. I'm here too. It's still like in the 90s today. We've been having like a heat, um, you know, whatever, wave. y'all so I um, got myself done up because um, I wanted to do a quick little maternity shoot at home because I realized I haven't taken any real maternity photos and part of the reason is because I've always felt like, like my belly never quite poked out yeah you know like my belly button never fully like popped out so I don't have like that full roundness but I was like let me not let that stop me I still gotta capture you know um, these moments so and I wanted to I just wanted like clean black and white photos that like, we can um, print in black and white and like put um, in frames and stuff or not even black and white but like neutral colors so I just have on this bodysuit and then I do have another shirt I'm about to change into we just finished up this one but I have another one I want to change into um, <clears throat> and that one's like a floral shirt where my belly will be out and in the open. So let's go downstairs. And we're just doing it in a corner in a living room. Yeah, I was like, let me not, you know, cause I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna have a second one. I said, I gotta at least capture some pictures of this belly. So this is the other shirt. Oh, this lighting in here is like yellow. You can't see anything. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any other little outfit I wanna put on. I'm gonna get my Stanley too. Get my water. You got great. Some of them blasted out. I like the left one. I don't like the middle. Do you have one of me facing the other way, looking down? Yeah. 